Hello everybody. So to, uh, today we are going to start a new series of uh, automation video series. It's called Selenium with Docker. So let's discuss about Docker. So this is an intro session. Uh, so what is first we'll understand what is Selenium Grid. So Selenium Grid help to distribute test cases execution among the nodes. How does it happen? A hub and nodes are registered. A node can be a window machine, it can be a Linux machine, it can be a Mac machine or it can be only one win window machine and it with a multiple browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, IE, Safari, multiple. Okay. So client, I, I, I am representing client basically with the test case execution. So uh, execution is happening from your local machine or from a any CI CD tool like Bamboo, Go CD, Team City, Jenkin. So it hits the hub. How it hits the hub? As you know, there is a remote web driver is there. So in the remote web driver, you pass the URL of the hub and the capability. Capability is nothing but browser type. Okay. So suppose you pass Chrome. Now hub will decide where to execute. If you pass a Chrome, it will execute in a window. If you pass a suppose for a Firefox, it will execute in a Linux. If you pass Safari, it will execute in a Mac. So these nodes are registered to the hub. I can register as many nodes as I want to the hub. Okay. Now what is Docker? Let us understand Docker. Docker is a standardized unit of a software that package up code and all its dependencies so that the application run quickly and reliably from one computing system or environment to another. A Docker container image is lightweight, standalone, executable package of software that include everything needed to run a application, code, runtime, system tools, runtime uh, system libraries, setting, environment variable, everything. So this quote I have got it from the docker.com. Okay. Now how Docker fit inside our Selenium grid or our Selenium that we have to understand. Okay. So here you can see, uh, sorry, this was not required. Okay. So here you can see, this is a client, then Docker, then hub, and then again nodes. Okay. These are all nodes. Okay. Like IE, Chrome, Firefox, Safari. It can be a any machine, window machine, Linux machine, whatever machine you register it. Now why hub again one more uh, component has come. When a client or a user or any Jenkins or in any CI CD tool invoke a test cases or start execution, it send the command to the Docker. Now Docker has to pass it to the hub and hub will execute it. Then what is the use of Docker? Hub was doing the, all the jobs. Correct? So let us understand that. Okay, now as, I, as you understand, Docker is basically a independent. Okay, it is basically independent. Independent means all the software and everything is packaged inside that. So it's not sharing the resources. So generally when Selenium execution happens, suppose you have registered a two Chrome browsers with a hub. One node you have created and you have registered that node with the hub and two browsers. So what will happen? You, you have given a parallel execution. It can be done with a sel, uh, Cucumber, Selenium or testing you Selenium, anything. Now you have given like two browsers should open parallelly. Does it parallelly happen? Yes, it happened parallelly. But at the same time, thread wait for another thread. So there is a master thread which is controlling two, two threads. Okay, whenever there is a delay or friction of seconds of one thread has got uh, like wait statement or some synchronization is happening like implicit wait or that thread or sleep, then another thread pick up the execution. So when you execute your code, you try it in your system, you try to execute two test cases in two browser parallelly. You see first test case or might be a second test case will get executed first like quickly and the second test case will take friction of more seconds to execute because thread was busy in executing the first test cases or might be the second test cases. So whenever there is a uh, thread goes in a sleep mode, it switches. It's waiting for another jobs. Okay. So this is how happened. But in case of Docker, it will not happen like this. Suppose I have 
register five node and in five node i want to execute test cases all five will run parallelly because the environment is different the threads are different you imagine a docker basically a container basically as a vm so you are executing your test cases in multiple vms just imagine it don't think imagine because vm and docker are two different concept but imagine is environment is giving it's not sharing the resources it's not sharing the th uh, threads basically okay so browser uh, browser dependencies and driver version there is no dependency from one container to another containers okay when you define five nodes i will define five containers and each are depend independent there no connection between that five containers it can be all five of a chrome all can be of a firefox okay so suppose my requirement is to execute 10 test cases each test cases take 30 seconds 10 test cases means 30 seconds means 6 minute 5 minute sorry okay now i want to execute all the test cases in 30 seconds i will create five containers i'll execute it okay and it's very easy if you go uh, in the form of if you go uh, with a hub and node you have to again register one more node you have to go that to that machine and then run some command and it will execute it so you need lot of infrastructures correct multiple machines you need multiple vms or might be you needed but here in case of docker you don't need in a single machine you create multiple dockers multiple containers basically okay that will talk in later okay fast execution suppose i have 100 test cases okay and i want to execute that 100 test cases in 10 minutes okay i'll create 10 dockers okay of 10 nodes and it, it will register to a node hubs and it will execute it very fast i'll show you how to do it easy to access of environment you can access the environment also okay they are not dependent they are independent okay but make sure when you write any of the scripts you have to make sure your script are independent they should not be dependent if there is a dependency then you cannot execute in a parallel because one script is waiting for another then there is no meaning of a parallel execution none of the script is sharing a driver with another script even the script drivers should be independent from another script so there should not be sharing of drivers from one test case to another whether you write in a uh, cucumber or you write in a test ng okay so in the next video we'll show you how to configure the docker until thank you please subscribe to my channel for more videos and updates